KLM Cityhopper Flight 433 changes course and returns to Amsterdam after the crew was surprised by a low oil pressure warning in the second engine. The plane is no longer stable. The captain decided to land relying on the first engine, not knowing that the engine had been put into idle mode. The plane tilted and turned on its right side and approached the ground. How did the crew behave and did they manage to survive? April 4, 1994 Amsterdam Schiphol International Airport, Netherlands A KLM Cityhopper plane was preparing to take off on its flight 433 bound for Cardiff, Wales. On board the plane there were 21 passengers and 3 crew members. In command of the flight was Captain Jarrett Levert, 37 years old. He had worked for KLM City Hopper since 1992 and had 2,605 flying experiences, including 1,214 hours on Saab 340 aircraft. The co-pilot was Captain Paul Stassen, 34 years old. He had 1,718 hours of flying experience, including 1,334 hours on Saab 340 aircraft. The plane was a Saab 340B. The Saab 340 is a Swedish twin-engine turboprop aircraft. The plane first flew in 1990. The aircraft was powered by two General Electric turbofan engines, and the aircraft had flown 6,558 flight hours at the time of the accident. Flight 433 took off from Schiphol on a 1 hour and 18 minute flight to Cardiff. At 2.30, 11 minutes had passed since the plane took off. Suddenly, the main warning light went off in the plane's cockpit to warn of a defect in the oil pressure of the second engine. The captain quickly turned off the repeated warning sound, then lowered the power lever for the right engine and switched it to idle mode, causing the engine's thrust to drop from 78% to only 10%. The captain did this without the knowledge of the co-pilot, who was busy opening the plane's emergency instructions booklet. The pilots then began working on reviewing the emergency checklist for low engine oil pressure. The instructions state that, if the oil pressure warning light is on, and the oil pressure is less than 30, the engine should be shut down immediately. However, if the warning light is on, and the engine oil pressure is higher than 30, normal operation must be continued. On this trip, the second engine's oil pressure was above 50. So the pilots decided to continue normal flight operations. The pilots decided to continue their flight, but the captain forgot to increase the power of the right engine again, and the plane continued to fly with one engine, which was put on idle. After a while, the plane's momentum began to decline due to the engine being idle. 
The captain did not notice this, but decided that he did not want to continue this trip, and preferred to return to Amsterdam. The captain contacted Amsterdam radar and requested to return due to an emergency. The air traffic controller requested flight KLM-433 to descend to flight level 07. The air traffic controller offered the captain either to land directly on runway 06 or to head towards runway 01 on the right. The captain decided to use runway 06 and land directly on it. Flight KLM-433 was given permission to land on runway 06 immediately. The plane was landing with one engine, which was idling without the captain noticing, causing the plane's speed to drop to 115 knots. As the close to ground warning sounded, the captain finally realized what was happening, so he immediately revved up the engine to full power. The plane turned to the right and descended at an angle of 12 degrees towards the ground. As the plane became unstable, the captain quickly turned around and increased the power of the first engine to its maximum while keeping the second engine in idle mode. Unfortunately, the plane had come too close to the ground and started making a sharp right turn. The captain tried to fly by plane again, but the time was running out. The plane crashed in a field directly outside the airport, 560 meters from the runway. Of the 24 people on board, three were killed, the captain and two passengers. The investigation was conducted by the Dutch Aviation Safety Board. According to investigators, the pilot's unbalanced use of the controls during the turn led to a loss of control. The factors that contributed to this accident were the flight crew's insufficient understanding of the engine oil system on board the aircraft. Likewise, the pilots did not notice that the right engine was idle before starting the landing, and they relied on it during the landing process. Thanks for watching. We are honored by your opinions, suggestions, and support in the comments, and do not forget to subscribe to the Flight X channel and activate the notification bell to receive all new updates. See you in another episode.